Hello adventure lovers and welcome to a walk through the conversion. This is your host Vidushi. If you're new here, Motorhome Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck to in trailer and of course caravans, motorhomes, RVs. We have many series featuring our conversions, but a walk through the conversion is where you and I get to detour and walk through the conversion. Today's episode features Lounger Mini. <laughs> suggests it is a lounger on wheels but compact so without the further ado let's walk through this conversion this customization is done on a 3 4 double 8 wheelbase bs6 tata winger now what i personally like about tata winger is that although it is a compact vehicle it is a sturdy vehicle as well this model has a 2.2 liters Dicor engine with 99 bhp. So it is a box size vehicle but at the same time it is definitely more comfortable than driving a Force Tempo Traveler. And the exterior as well as the interior amenities that we have provided in a little space is the Cherry on the top. Now moving to the exterior upgrades that we have done. So first things first we have rear suspensions that we have upgraded. Apart from that, we have 16 inches alloy rims as well as broader tire to provide a firm grip. This skirting starting from the front to the rear hump has also been customized providing a masculine look to our lounger mini. Apart from that, on the top we have a cab over space or a dome with our standard lights, a PA system. Now, you must be wondering why in the world a person would opt for a PA system in a lounger on wheels. Is it for a karaoke night? I mean, we can use it for that purpose if we want to, but that is not the purpose of this PA system in this asset. And we'll touch more base on this later in the video. Now, moving to other facilities, we also have security cameras one on the front, one on the back, one on each side and one in the cabin. So we have customized art leather seating area. This can easily seat up to two plus one. Apart from that, we have our intercom, a light, as well as our control panel, the turnover switches to both the 12 volt DC as well as 220 volt outdoor supply. Now do not miss on this little detail here. This is an input to a tank about which we are going to discuss later in the video. Now moving to the driver's side. So this right here is a power hookup. For those of you who do not know, a power hookup is where you can connect the external electricity supply to your vehicle to provide the power to the asset. Now moving to the rear, we have concealed window all through the body but this little one is an open window and on the rear is where we have our spare tire as well as a ladder to climb onto the storage bay. Opening the rear doors, we have our 5 kVA EU30 IS silent petrol genset that you can also slide out and this right here is the back end of the washroom unit. If something goes wrong with the bathroom, if anything breaks down, this is where you can rectify the issue at. Now, moving to the co-driver side. So on the co-driver side, we have our entryway. Now, you do have the option of opting for a side as well as a rear awning. Again, as we say, it is your customization. This client did not want to opt for one, but you do have the option of opting. And we have our entryway customized door as well as steps taking us inside our lounger on wheels mini. So the new high roof has ample headroom as well. Now we'll discuss about this area later. Before that, let's explore the rear. 
So on the rear, we have our cabinet. This is to show you how much space we have on the inside. This is a 20 liter solo microwave, a 50 liter fridge and underneath the fridge, we have our access to the genset. This right here is the jump seat that provides seating for one extra person. And adjacent to the jump seat, we have our door to the bathroom area. Now, if you've been on our channel, you know that bathroom on wheels is our USP. But if you're new, first of all, do subscribe to our channel if you're interested in caravan or motorhome life, because we're coming up with many fun customizations and tours. Now to the bathroom. So this is a unibody bathroom. The complete bathroom area has been made up by reinforcing multiple fiber panels. And the technology that we use in the Kamor is known as pneumatic activating wall based technology. If you're interested or curious about how it works, we have a detailed video which is going to be linked in the description box. Now moving to the inside. So in the little space that we have, we have still provided a dinky size wash basin, a handheld shower, a soap dispenser, a brush holder, as well as a vanity mirror. And that does it for this bathroom area. Now moving to the lounge area. So in one of our older customizations based on Tata Winger, we have instead of providing a storage area on the rear, provided a slide out kitchen that is accessible from the outside. So keep in mind that this customization is accustomed to the client's requirement and their specifications. And if you want to get maybe a kitchen area built or a recliner, etc., that is definitely possible. In fact, it doesn't have to be limited to these basic amenities and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Now to the sofa area. So on the top of this sofa area, we have a cab over storage. Apart from that, we have relocated the company fitted AC to provide air all through the inside. Plus on top of that, we also have a 1.1 ton static AC. Other than that, the standard amenities are a smart TV, smart music system, color changing or mood lights all through the camper to change the vibe of the caravan overall. So this sofa area can easily seat up to four people plus one if you count the jump seat as well. Now, usually under the sofa, we have a storage space, but in this case, we have a convertible sofa cum bed, which turns this complete lounge room into a queen size bedding area. So this storage area right here is what we have to store our control panel for the hydraulic lift. Now this is what I meant when I said that your customization doesn't have to be only of the basic amenities. This lift can take a payload of up to 500 kgs and the tank that you saw in the front on the cabin side is the tank to the hydraulics. So the client who owns Lounge Room Mini wanted to use as a lounge room slash office but also as an election campaigning vehicle which is why we have this lift as well as the PA system. So on the top we have a hatch which is there to provide you ventilation plus if you completely open the hatch your lift once it goes up gives you the access to wave around and give the speeches. Now, if you're nervous, we also have a railing which you can hold and your vehicle can be in a running mode as well. Apart from that, because the client requested, we've also provided a foldable dish. And that does it for this episode of a walk through the conversion. If you're interested in renting a caravan or building such or a different customization, all the details are going to be linked in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels. Thank you so much for coming by Motorhome Adventures. Signing off.